Bismillah ar rahman rahim Assalamu alaikum Salar Khan here and today with the new topic of unit step signal unit step signal okay we've seen the unit impulse signal today we see the unit step these two are the most important signals of this particular course now what is a unit step signal this is also known as a heavy side step function okay so i would give the heading over here that it is also known as a heavy side heavy side or sight d it is okay it's a heavy side step function it's name it's named after the the scientists maybe who discovered it right so the definition of this is what this is represented by a small u so you have a u of t this is equal so we have it in two forms it is one for t greater than zero and it's zero for t less than zero so this is basically the unit step function okay it's one for the positive values of time it's zero for the negative values of time but what about t is equal to zero so basically this is undefined at t is equal to zero undefined at t is equal to zero but we do what but for simplicity we consider it to be one so I would write it that u of t is equal to 1 at t is equal to 0. So this is what we do for simplicity. So which means that I put an equal sign over here as well. So it's 1 for t equal or greater than 0 and 0 at the other direction. So if I draw it, so if this is u of t, If this is the time axis and this represents u of t so this is the function 1 and this time is 0 so this is the graph of u of t now we did we see some properties to this so the first that we see is the Gibbs phenomena right the Gibbs phenomena we see with the help of this Gibbs phenomena now Gibbs phenomena says what? It tells you the value at a discontinuous point. It tells us what? With the help of Gibbs phenomena we give what? The value of a function at a discontinuous point. And how does it tell it? So let me tell you. The Gibbs phenomenon states that for a discontinuous point you take the value after that point you take the value before that point and you add and you take the average that is the value at the point of discontinuity so let me write the value at point of discontinuity is the average is the average of values before and after that point before and after that point so now I will give you an example okay so let's say I have a function x of t which is equal to the unit step function plus the time reversed unit step function okay so if I draw it, so uh, this is u of t, right? So u of minus t would be what? It the mirror image over the y-axis. So so let's say this is now u of minus t. So this would be like this. This is one. This is zero. This is the time. So now if you add them together, if you add them together, so what do you have? You have it like this this is in the time axis this represents x of t which is u of t plus minus plus u of minus t so this would be like this this is 1 this is 0 now a question arises 
a question arises that fine that at t greater than 0 it's 1 fine t less than 0 it's 1 fine but at t is equal to 0 both the functions are 1 so if you add them up you should get a 2 right but that is not the case this is the point of discontinuity so have a look now at 0 we don't know the value of x of t so because this is not the point of discontinuity so we apply the Gibbs phenomena so we get what the value after the point is 1 the value before the point is 1 so you apply it over here so you have 1 plus 1 divided by 2 it's 1 is the average so the value is written over here is that clear now uh, we have a property now let's say, let's find out the uh, power of this signal so the power of this signal is what and uh, you can also do it in the what let me remove this first wait so the power as you know that power is equal to what as the formula of power is that limit t tends to infinity limit t tends to infinity 1 over 2 t 1 over 2 t I usually forget this formula negative t to positive t the absolute of x of t whole squared dt now this is the formula for power so we find out the power for what signal for this unit step signal so let's say we do it so the power would equal uh, limit t tends to infinity you have 1 over 2t and then the integration so we divide into two parts so first we have it from negative t to 0 or like let's say negative t is somewhere in the, in the negative infinity range positive t is somewhere towards the positive infinity range so we have it from negative t to 0 so so till 0 it is 0 right let's say negative t be somewhere over here fine and positive t be let's say somewhere over here so it's 0 till here and then you have it with from 0 to positive t the absolute of x of t so the absolute of x of t is 1 and 1 squared is again 1 so 1 squared dt fine so this would be 0 that would be t right so you have the power equal to limit t tends to infinity uh, and this is 1 over 2t so you have a 1 over 2t and the integration of 1 with respect to t would be t so you have it as t and the upper limit is t the lower limit is 0 so you have a t minus 0 put over here so you have a t this t would cancel out with this t the limit would not be applicable the power is equal to 1 over 2 the power is equal to 1 over 2 means that if this is a finite value the power is equal to 1 over 2 means this is a finite value and if the power of a signal is finite this implies that the energy of the signal would be infinity the energy of the signal would be infinity and if the power is finite energy of the signal is infinite this means that unit step function is a power signal u of t is a power signal now this is for the power and energy signal now the next thing we do is for e1 and odd so you saw that u, u of minus t right you saw u of minus t so it was like this wait let's say this is u of minus t so this would be like this fine and if you have a negative of uh, u of minus t negative of u of minus t this is t so it would be like this so for the condition of e1 for e1 what do you have you know the condition for e1 uh, x of t equals x of negative t so have a look are these equal x of t x of negative t they are not equal so this is not an even signal now for odd we know that x of t equals negative times x of negative t so negative times x of negative t x of t they are not equal so which means what that u of t which is the unit step signal is neither odd nor even signal is that fine 
So that's all about the user step signal, okay? And I can also write it in the in the discrete time domain u of n. So this would equal to one for n greater than or equal to zero, and this would equal zero for n less than zero. Is that okay? So that's all about unit step. See you in the next lecture with the relationship between unit step and unit impulse function. Till then, take care of yourselves and everyone around you. Goodbye.